rather than that. Good morning. Good morning. So, Byron Garrett is taking time out of his busy schedule to visit a grade school classroom. He is the newly appointed CEO of the organization known nationally as the Parent Teacher Association. The PTA is a group that allows parents and teachers to collaborate ideas on how to better fulfill students' lives. PTAs across the country work together to strengthen the voices of children and advocate the importance of education. When you think of the national PTA, folks generally think of groups at schools that are doing fundraisers, but the PTA really is much more than that. Uh, PTA was responsible back during the Carter administration to help advocate for us to actually create a national U.S. Department of Education. The PTA is 112 years old and is the largest volunteer advocacy association in the nation. Garrett is a new face and the first male to head the organization. He hopes to lead the group into the future. When folks around the country heard that you have an African-American male who's young and energetic that's concerned about education, many folks started calling saying, we want to meet, we want to figure out how we partner, we want to talk about constructive ways to move forward and what the new vision is of PTA and how we can support that. So that's really been exciting. I think as an organization, our staff are committed to helping advance that while the timing is right. And throughout his life, Garrett's timing has been right. Before the CEO position, he was a former principal here in Phoenix at a K-8 charter school. He also worked for former Governor Napolitano in leading youth development efforts in education faith-based issues. From there, he went to Washington, D.C., where he led the National 4-H program at the U.S. Department of Agriculture. He then found himself in the search process to be considered as the CEO of the National PTA. I consider myself to really be fortunate and blessed to have the opportunity to execute this particular role. As PTA president, Garrett is using his available resources and reaching out to the youth. He has a slogan that he encourages students to follow when he is speaking to the class. Read after me. Say, the more I learn, the more I learn, the more I earn, the more I earn, the more I know, the more I know, the more I grow. The more I grow. Now this is really, really important. I want you to remember this. And it doesn't stop there. Garrett stresses the importance of greatness on the inside. He does this with a little bit of magic. That's magic. Would you believe me? No. Why not? There's no such thing as magic? No. So there's got to be an answer for it. So if I pour all the water out, there's just water. I got it right out of the bathroom, right up the hall, right? So what if I told you, but there's greatness on the inside of this pot? Would you believe me? No. You wouldn't? So what if I told you I wanted to pour it again? I don't know. You tell me. So repeat after me. Say there's greatness, there's greatness on the inside. Whether it's in the classroom or in the office, Garrett is following his instincts to continue the cooperation between parents and school administrators. But one of the things I focused on since I came on board was how do you help the organization transition to be socially significant and relevant to the needs of parents and non-parents in this day and age. You know, here I am, a, a male that's not married with no biological children, but I'm equally concerned and passionate about education as any other parent would be or caregiver in society. Reporting for No 99, I'm Samantha Boatman.